feelings No, this ain't really like me Okay guys, so today we're going to be using a J-hook and stitch markers and um, Walmart has some yarn. It's a ombre super saver and it is um, weight four and it's called anemone I believe and it the recommended hook is a five but I'm using a six and you're gonna need a measuring tape so you can measure yourself. <clears throat> so basically my waist is 32 and I divided it in half so I made a chain that is 16 inches long so I'm just going to chain two and I'm going to double crochet along this chain. And for me, 16 inches was 50 chains. So I just made a chain of 50. And I'm going to go back on this chain, double crocheting. And so that's really easy. And so basically, um, the whole time on this dress, I'm going to be getting my measurements for my bust, waist, and hips. And I'm going to divide each of those measurements in half, which means for a 28 waist, it would be like 14 inches. So you would make a chain that is equal to 14 inches. And that's the easiest way that I can explain it because that's how I make my crochet outfits. And also when I do my, um, my bust, my bust is 32 and I'm going to divide that in half and it's going to be 16. So I'm going to make a chain. However many chains is going to make 16 for me. So like I said, I'm double crocheting across this um, chain of 50 that I made. And I'm going to be making a shell design um, after this row is completed. And that is going to make up the majority of the bottom of this dress. But you don't have to do that. You can continue whatever stitch you want to use. But it, it will make you have to do more, um, like more rows than I did. So yeah. And if I was talking too much in the beginning, I chained two and I um, double crochet in like the third or fourth chain space from the hook. And this dress took me like forever because I, I was making up the pattern as I was going. So I had to figure out what I was doing. <clears throat> okay, so I have finished my row of double crochet on my chain of 50. So I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going to skip um like the first two or the first two or three chain spaces and then I'm going to place a double crochet into it so I think I skipped three spaces and I'm going to put three double crochets into that one chain space to create like a shell stitch and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to skip spaces again about I think I'm going to start skipping two spaces no, three. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So I'm going to skip three spaces each time, and I'm going to place three double crochets in that same chain space. And then chain one and keep doing that. And I'm going to do that for about eight rows. And I should have done less so it wouldn't be so see-through um, up towards my private part area. But it's fine because I'm going to have underwear on when I wear it. So yeah, I'm just double crocheting three times in each um, fourth chain space. So now I'm at the end and I didn't make sure that I had an even amount of rows. So I'm just placing one double crochet at the end. And this is how it should look. And I'm just going to do my chains. Chain two. And then you go on top of that next double crochet um, chain space, that middle one, the second one that you did. And then you place three more double crochets into that third, I mean that second shell stitch chain. And then you chain one and then you just keep doing that. And like I said, I did that for eight rows. So um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy. 
I don't know why I did the shell stitches. I think it was just easier to take up space. And so this is after the eight rows that I did. And then I'm going to um, chain two and I'm gonna half double crochet <clears throat> along those chains so I can get my rows back right to start chain um, doing regular stitches now. So I'm gonna chain two and I'm going to half double crochet. Um, I'm just going to find whatever stitches um, are available. So I think I went in the middle of the chain. Um, what is it called? The shell stitch, the second double crochet of the shell stitch. I went into all of those. And I was half double crocheting and chaining one. So when I do the next row, it'll be easier for me to just go ahead and go straight through all of the chains. So yeah, I'm going to speed through this because it's pretty explanatory. You just go through all the shell stitches. And so now that I have completed that row, I'm going to do 13 rows of half double crochet. And now that I have completed my rows of half double crochet, like I said, I did my hip measurement. I mean, my waist measurement, which was um, 28. And I'm just showing you how I did the um, my hip measurement and how I got it. The 50 chains that I did and it was about 16 to 16 and a half inches so my waist is 28 so I divided that by 14 and I'm just going to decrease on each side by like four or five um I'm going to decrease it four or five times to get the waist measurement to be 14 inches so that's what you would do for yours Sorry, I got the camera all messed up. Um, and excuse my carpet, it looks really dirty. <laughs> um, so yeah, I want my waist to end up being like, I really want it to be like 13 inches because I crochet kind of loose. So if you crochet loose, you might want to make it tighter, like make it smaller or make your um, crochets a little bit thicker. So I'm going to decrease on those sides. And when I decrease, I just put two, um, two stitches together. So I chain two and you don't have to, you can just turn over and start decreasing, but I always like to chain two. Um, so I'm going to put the hook into one chain and then another chain and pull through all of the loops on the chain. And that is how I decrease. And so, I, like I said, I did that four or five times on each side and I can't really tell you like show you in the video because like I said I was creating the pattern as I was going so I kept um, crocheting and then taking it out but you'll see it start to decrease on the sides if you're doing it correctly so I just did that and I, I decreased and then I would have double crochet all the way to the other side until I got to the last stitches where I was going to decrease that so Basically, you just keep on decreasing until you get that waist measurement to be half of what your full waist would be. And it's pretty easy once you start doing it. I mean, I may not be explaining it correctly. But yeah, so just make sure that the waist gets to be the size that you want it and make sure that you're decreasing the same amount on both sides so it doesn't look um weird because I did skip a couple of um decreases on one side and it was noticeable so yeah and the footage is really bad right now because I didn't know what I was doing like I said I probably should have made this dress and then filmed it once I knew what I was doing but it's cool so yeah basically right here I believe I have my waist about where I want it um to be 14 inches I have decreased on the sides 
And after I did that, I started, um, I wasn't increasing or decreasing. I was just half double crocheting across the, um, the waist measurement that I had. I forgot how many chains that was. I mean, how many stitches that was, but for you it was going to be different anyway. So yeah. I wasn't going to decrease anymore and I did um, about six rows for my waist and so I'm going to speed through this because it's repeti repetitive and I already explained it so yeah just half double crochet all the way across for however many rows um, your waist takes up and I always measure my waist so I would do like from underneath my breast to above my hips and that would be how long how many inches that I would make my waist portion and that way you can get the measurement so it fits your body perfectly or whoever you're making making it for it'll fit their body perfectly so yeah I think I'm gonna come back after I completed all of the um rows for the waist and right here is me folding it over to see if it was matching up correctly like to make sure I was decreasing correctly on both sides and I knew I should have wrote it down but I kind of know what I'm doing now with this dress so I can remake it and it'll be fine So yeah, that's just me measuring again to make sure that it's where I want it to be. And like I said, I wanted it to be a little bit smaller than 14 inches because I know how I crochet and how it will fit on my body. So yeah, um, after doing six half double crochet rows, I have my waist portion basically completed. And I'm going to use um, a cover-up dress that I made as like a stencil for how I was going to make my dress. So basically, I'm going to use this to see how long I want the dress to be. So I didn't end up making it too long. And so I'm showing you right here where my waist area started on this dress. And it's exactly the amount um, that I wanted mine to be. So yeah. I'm going to um, start the top portion of this dress and I wanted it to be an off the shoulder dress so I'm gonna make the top portion and so my bust is um, like 34 inches and so I divided that and at 16 so um, I know that my stitch my gauge is three stitches equal an inch so I decided that I was going to put six, um, six chains on each side of the top and that would equal my bust um, measurement correctly. So if you know how to get your um, gauges right, you just see how, how many stitches make an inch. So you can use a stitch gauge from the store or just a measuring tape. So like I said, I'm gonna show you what I did. I just chained off of the top where I already had it connected. I chained off six and then I cut the string and I sealed off the loop. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And that's the best way that I know how to do it for this, this kind of dress. So then, yeah, you just go ahead and tie that off and you do the same thing on the other side. And excuse my toes, they are all in the way and they look rather busted, but I'm not going to do them because I'm lazy. And so here I'm just going to connect the yarn and chain off six. And you're just going to have to find out what number that would be for you. Just see how many chains on each 
on each side of the top would equal out your half of your bust measurement. And then you should be fine. That should be the number that you're supposed to get. And I really should have just like decreased off and made it to the measurement that I, I mean, increased off and made it to the measurement that I wanted. It probably would have looked better when I sewed it, but I didn't. And it still came out fine. So now I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to half double crochet into that sixth chain that I made on that, on that extension that I made and just half double crochet all the way across. And I'm going to do it back and forth. Um, how many rows did I do it for? When I was watching the video, I think I counted. I think I counted like 12 rows maybe. Yeah, I think I did 12 or 13 rows. So you just half double crochet back across or whatever stitch you want to use. Because if you want to use a different stitch, you can. And I'm sorry again for the footage being trash. I'm about to get a camera soon, hopefully, so my videos can be a little bit better. So yeah, I'm just showing. You just go into any stitch you can find and you have double crochet in it. Sorry guys, my headphones fell out. And I'm out of frame, sorry. I told you my video was trash because I was just filming as I was making this up. And I was kind of struggling because I didn't know what I wanted to do until I drew a picture and decided that that's what I was gonna do. Because I'm like a visual person, I have to like see everything and then I can go um, to the next step and create. And I also sew. So if you guys want to see a tutorial um, making an outfit, I can do that for you too. But like I said, here's the dress. I finished it. I did about 12 or 13 rows of half double crochet back and forth um, for the top. And I'm just going to make another one doing the same exact thing I did using all of my bust, hip, and waist measurements. And create the um, back portion to this dress. And it's I used ombre. Um, so they weren't the same on both sides. But basically this is what I wanted the top to look like. I made it off the shoulder top. And I in cotton. And I decided to make a dress out of it. But I didn't want the back to be strapped up. So yeah, basically that represents this part of the dress and then I'm just going to make the shell stitches around it to make it off the shoulder. And I'm going to remake it in cotton because I like cotton better and it's more breathable and I want to wear it this summer so I can look really, really cute. So yeah, now I'm going to sew the two... Um, sides together so I can move on to the next portion of creating the off the shoulder part and I don't really have that much yarn left I should have bought two but I didn't know I was going to make this dress out of it so I'm going to go to Walmart and get more of it but yeah it's really easy you just sew down the sides you just um go <laughs> all the way down and you do it to both sides and it looks really, really cute. So this is the dress after you sew the sides together. And now I just put stitch markers where I wanted my loop, I mean my armholes to go. So I put the dress on and I put the armholes like where the shirt turns towards your underarms. And then on the other side of my arm. So it's like on the front and back of my arms. And I made it kind of tight because I don't want my dress to slide. And I'll probably end up putting a waistband, like a little drawstring through it around my hips or my waist. So it's a little bit sturdier. But I'm going to wash it and put it in the dryer also. And that will make it um, a little bit tighter. 
because I like my dresses to be form-fitting because I, I don't have a shape that much. I'm pretty skinny, so I like things to fit, like contour to my body. So right here, I'm just attaching the yarn where I put the stitch marker at in the front, I believe. I think this is the front of the dress. I don't know. So I'm going to chain about 20 because like I said, I wanted my arms to be kind of tight, but I can still move around and lift my arms up and everything. But you can just try and see however many arm holes you need. I mean, chain spaces you need. So I did 20 and I'm like an extra small or a small in dresses. So if you're my size, 25 will probably be better or 30. So after you chain them, make sure that you get your, um, make sure your whole chain is straight and is not curved because I didn't make sure mine was straight and I had to modify it <laughs> because it was like jumbled up and it was all turned funny. So you just slip stitch it on to the back of the dress where you connected it at. and cut it and then you do the same thing to the other side after you secure it you just attach the yarn and then you chain off however many you need to chain off and i did 20. this dress was so cute when i put it on i was like so in love with it I can't wait to go somewhere so I can wear it. I think I might make another one in a different color and wear it to the Lauren Hill concert with some really cute heels. So yeah, I'm just chaining my 20. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, my voice is going out. I'm not sick. But I think I've been drinking too much juice. <laughs> so yeah. And then you're just going to secure that and cut the string. And then we can start the portion of making the off the shoulder port, um, part. And so now I'm... Um, inserting the hook and connecting the string and I'm just going to basically like make like a mesh stitch so I'm gonna like chain two or chain three and I'm gonna skip rows like a mesh stitch however whatever that means to you just do it that way because I'm getting really tongue-tied right now trying to explain it so yeah, like, I think I was skipping, like, two spaces on the arm portion. And then I was chaining one and skipping two spaces, and um, so it looks like I was double crocheting here but you can do whatever stitch you want but it's easier to do a mesh stitch because you can go in those chain spaces when you want to get ready to do your shells so yeah I did that all the way around from this armhole all the way to the other armhole and you can do it as many times as you want but I knew I was running out of yarn so I only did it once. Now I'm going to um, start. This is where I started at. After I went all the way around, I'm back at the starting point. And you can see the spaces that I made. And so I'm just going to start putting my shell stitches in. So I chain three.
and then I went into the top of the double crochet that I did and I put three double crochets in there to make the shell stitch and then I chain one and then I went into the next double on top of the next double crochet from the previous row and I put another three double crochets and I'm just going to do that all the way around once again. And yeah, that's why I said you should get two because I didn't think about if I like I was worried the whole time that I wasn't going to be able to even finish the whole dress, but I got to finish it somewhat. I'm just going to buy more and finish doing a, like four more rounds of the off the shoulder part. But yeah, you just go in on top of all those double crochets and you put three double crochets in the, sh in the same chain space. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So once you complete that, I'm now going to start doing a treble crochet. And I think I might have supposed to have been chaining four, but I was chaining three. It doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to add more anyway. And that's how much yarn I'm still working with. I was so nervous. I didn't know if I was going to finish. And I wanted to get this video out. So yeah, I chain three and I'm going into that second double crochet in the shell stitch from the previous row and I'm making a treble crochet, I'm a treble stitch. So you yarn over twice and then you go through two loops three times. So you would um, loop over twice. And then you would insert your hook and then you would pull up all your loops, go through two, loop over, go through two more and loop over and go through the last two. So it's pretty easy. If you don't know how to do it, just look up a video. It's really easy. It's like you're doing a double crochet, but you have three to go like a double crochet. You would go through two, loop over, go through two, but with treble, you go through two more. And just make sure you loop over twice so you'll have enough loops on your chain. Um, so here is the finished dress. I went around just the front portion two more times to cover up my bust area so my nipples wouldn't be showing. So yeah, you guys, this is the finished dress. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. And please like, comment, and subscribe and share the video. I'm trying to get 300 subscribers. So thank you guys. Bye. Everything's alright, I can feel the vibe How you feeling tonight, baby? A real Caribbean queen In your floral dress and your heels Girl, I love how you feel, oh yeah Can I give you a little harder? Slow wine, you want me banana Tonight, you create a disaster All night